I feel grateful that we grew up in a time where it didn't feel like school shootings were very popular. Like they I was were. never worried about that as a kid. I wasn't worried about it either. But school shootings have been a thing since the night. Yeah, but like I, it felt like they really caught on. You know, like it. Now I think these kids they're doing like they're putting like iron domes in classrooms now. Have you seen this shit? They're not putting the Iron Dome in class. Israel is sending Iron Domes into... So what? There's like a <laughs> missile that goes like kills a... Stu- what are you talking about? No, they have these like... Uh, it's like folds into the wall. Uh-huh. And then uh, basically a teacher unfolds it and it becomes like a room within a room. And it's like made yeah. of steel. She puts all the kids in there and then she lights it on fire. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. They're like... They have like these little like shelters in rooms now. How crazy that is that? That Iron Dome thing is crazy. Yeah. I knew a gal who gave some. Do we all dome. have that? No one's just shooting missiles at the other countries. Well, Israel, it, the U.S. uses it as like a, a testing site for like our tech. So like they'll send the Iron Dome there and be like, "Well, they're going to get a lot of use out of it. We can analyze the data. We'll know how effective it is for us, etc." Uh huh. They're like a beta tester for us. Yeah. Interesting. But, yeah. Well, nuke Israel, folks. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, try it. Let's see how well the Iron Dome works. I th- do you think uh, we got the tech to fucking defend a nuke? I kind of feel like we do. Do we? I think so. I think the U.S. Because they say like the NSA is like 20 years ahead of modern tech, right? Yeah, but that's the NSA. That's but, not like like uh, missile technology. But just like imagine the fuck it. Like I think all the like the UFOs and all the shit that's happening. Like I think that's all just hyper advanced. I think it's tech. both the United States and Russia yeah. have missiles now, like warheads now. That, what are they called? Mervs. It's uh. He's a Jewish guy. Yeah, it's a guy <laughs> named Merv. No, just fly a Jewish guy through they're space. They're like multi. It's like multiple reentry yeah. vehicle or something. But basically, like. Because ballistic missiles, so they call my dick. They go up into space, you know, and they, they come down so fucking fast. Yeah. You can't like, they're hard to shoot down. But even if you could shoot them down, the new ones now they'll just like send a bunch of different yeah. warheads over like a huge area. I think they could shoot those down pretty easy now. Yeah, they they just see now they have like scopes for rifles to shoot down drones because drones are so popular in war. Yeah. it's like an aimbot. It like fucking auto locks and helps you like just. Very easily shoot shit out of midair. They have like literal fucking hacks. I think it's a matter of like if you have enough missiles, any system's going to be overwhelmed. overwhelmed, Yeah, Yeah, like that's what happened with when Iran, like they they killed that guy in Syria, or they killed all those IRGC guys, and then you know a couple weeks ago, yeah, then Iran responded. And they sent a bunch of, like, you know, drones and missiles over. Right. And then it was like, oh, nothing got through. And it's like, well, nothing got through because you had, like, four different countries trying to intercept everything. Right, right. Um, But then stuff did get through. Like, they did hit, like, you know. Yeah. Like, uh, 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 an Air Force base. And it's like, if, if, you know, even Iran, like, in that small example, it's like, imagine... You know, Apparently a country like Russia sub. launching, you know, every fucking nuke that they have at, at yeah. once. Yeah. Apparently the nuclear sub is like the biggest. That's the that's like the real winning game piece because it's like apparently impossible to find a fucking submarine underwater. Yeah. It's like so hard. Yeah. Because of how vast the ocean is. Right. But uh, I, I'm willing to bet that we have the tech to like I, I would love to believe that the U.S. is with all the trillions of dollars we spent on fucking defense. We could prevent a nuke from hitting. Yeah, but everything kind of like switched to deterrence at some point. So like the reality of like nuclear war between like the United States and Russia yeah. is probably not going to happen. Yeah. It'll likely be India and Pakistan, I think. Wow. And then, you know, what that would smell like. <laughs> no, I, was I was literally, I was trying to <laughs> not make Yeah, I know. You can't help yourself. <laughs> I mean... Can you imagine if their smell got in the waterways? Dude, if it was in the atmosphere? <laughs> if it was in the fucking atmosphere? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you, though? That's good um, stuff. Yeah, I That's mean, it is funny. I wish it didn't make me laugh so much. <laughs> That's the funniest shit in the world. I is. Know, yeah. Is that... <laughs>